And it's something that I found with these Mariners is that you, you have, look, players have cliches that they like to say and then we get annoyed about it. But we do too. Fans do too. Fans have our own cliches or maybe they're just our little sayings that we go to that often aren't all that true. And I was thinking of two things that you guys have also probably heard, Justin Moore, et cetera, that, that they're just not, they're not accurate. So the first one is, and I'm sure, tell me how often you've heard this one from people. The Mariners have been rebuilding for 20 years. Oh, yeah. Right? The text like, line every day. Every day. Yep. Right? And you hear it from friends. Like, hey, how about what the Mariners? Big rebuild. I'm like, ah, they've been rebuilding for 20 years. It's not true. Yeah. Oh, and we're the Yankees farm system. Like, that's just, always the very next comment. It's just flat out untrue. Yeah. It's, just, it's just not It's not true. It's flat out untrue. I will keep saying it again and again until we sort of you know start to make some progress in this. Second one. And maybe you've heard this one before. Tell me if you've heard a friend of yours say this. How long has it been since the Mariners played meaningful baseball this late in September? Oh, boy. How many times have you heard that in the last week or so? A bunch, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, you know how long it's been? Five years. Was it? 2016. 16? 2016 was the year they nearly made it. And Nelson Cruz, that crazy back and forth game with Oakland on October 1st. It was later in the year than today. And we needed the Rangers to win? Was that? They needed some other stuff to go their way that didn't happen. Yeah, I think they needed the Rangers to do something. It didn't work out. And also, they lost the last, I think, two games to Oakland. Felix pitching at the end, yeah. Yeah, Felix, disaster right on the final game of the season. I think it didn't end up mattering because they were out by two games by that point. But but it hasn't been that long. Now, here's where I want to add to that. It does feel different this year than those other two. And I've been trying to put my finger on why. Why does this run and this uh, this meaningful baseball in September feel different from what we saw in 2014 and 2016? And again, you can go read my full thoughts on this at 710sports.com. It feels different because you're playing playoff-style baseball in a way that you weren't then. You're locked in. You really are. If you watch this team, they are doing the things that teams do when they are championship caliber. By the way, they have a better record than anyone in the division, including the Rangers, in September and since the trade deadline. Saw that this morning from Jason Churchill. Remember the trade that was supposed to destroy the Mariners and help the Astros? The Mariners have been better than the Astros since that day. Yeah. Think Mariners, about that. Mariners have been one of the best teams in the AL since, like, June. Yeah. Like, the best team. since Basically since the uh, San Diego Padres series where they just got beat up. But since the deadline deal that, you know, destroyed team chemistry and where all everybody that. Everybody said, Jerry's got to go. Yeah. No, they, they're better. Better than the Astros. Oh, but you're helping the Astros. No. No, you've been better than them. Not better enough. I don't think you're, you're going to pass them. But, hey, you're better than them since the trade. You've helped. They do all the things that big-time championship teams do. They're hyper-focused. You can see it during the games just how focused they are. They hustle. They te- take the extra base. They're bonded together. They sacrifice for each other. They play unselfishly. They have unwavering confidence in themselves and athletic arrogance. They hustle. All the things that you expect out of a championship-style team, the Mariners are doing right now. That doesn't mean they're going to win the championship because other teams are doing that too, right? We'll see what it looks like when you actually get into the playoffs. Who locks it in? The Cardinals have been doing it here for three weeks, Oof, yeah. right? The Dodgers have done it. We've seen a couple of times. Will the White Sox be the team to do it this year? Will the Mariners get over the hump and even make the play? We don't know the answer to this stuff yet. And being locked in doesn't mean you're going to win every game. And if they get in, you got to win that one-game wild-card play-in game in order to get there. So, yeah, look, being a championship team requires playing championship ball, but it also requires – some luck and some of the timing and all the other stuff that goes into it, this feels different because they're not limping or backing into it the way they did. That 2014 team got shelled on the road in their final road trip and kind of withstood it, and the 2016 team lost five straight like a week beforehand. They finished the year 8-8. and Yeah, 8-8 and to finish the year is not playing championship baseball. The Mariners have won 10 of 11 and five straight. They come from behind every night. That is is winning playoff baseball. Doesn't mean they're going to get in, but they're sure playing like a team that deserves it. That's why this whole thing is so much fun. 